Hello guys and welcome to another Flying Dutchman uh, modeling video. Uh, today I'm going to paint uh, the Carl Mosler. The, the build is uh, finished uh, right now. Um, the last thing I did was uh, adding the tracks. Um, I enjoyed building this kit. There were uh, almost no problems. The only uh, big problem was, as you uh, already uh, could have read, uh, were the tracks. Uh, the tracks were uh, a little bit too small and the sprockets uh, were molded onto the hull uh, so I had uh, to cut them off and place a little bit of uh, sprue between them to give it more space so that the tracks will fit uh, better. Now I'm going to leave the tracks on to the vehicle this time. Uh, the reason why is because it's already glued on on the sprocket. Uh, I did that uh, for a better fit and if I'm going to paint those uh, rubber tracks before putting it on the, onto the vehicle all paint will chip off. Uh, I did not glue the, the other uh, underside of the tracks uh, to the sprocket yet. I will do that uh, in a later state, so it makes it uh, a little bit easier to paint uh, this uh, vehicle. So let's just uh, go into prime first. So I will take my primer. I use surface primer from Vallejo. Uh, it's uh, already uh, in the base uh, color. It's uh, German dark yellow. It's a, a really good primer to begin with, so let's just do that, so give it a little shake and putting it into my airbrush. If you are wondering uh, what uh, this little thing is, it's called a bullet. It's uh, an extra filter uh, to get even more dry air so, and it's great for holding it. Let's put in a little primer. I'm turning on this thing. And I'm starting with the bottom of the tank. And now it's time uh, to uh, 
let it dry for uh, about 10 minutes I think and when it's uh, dry I'm, I am going uh, to uh, put on uh, the first uh, base color now for the base color dark yellow from Vallejo so that would be the next step Well, so far the base color on this uh, Karl Mosler, as you can see, uh, the dark yellow. And uh, I'm going to do the tracks now, I think, before I'm going to do the camouflage. Uh, it's the first time ever I uh, paint the tracks while they are still on the vehicle. But I have, uh, as I have uh, explained uh, to you, uh, it's already glued on and I did not have uh, another choice, so we'll see uh, how it goes. Uh, painting my tracks, I've got here a color I mixed myself. It's uh, a light brownish. Also Vallejo. I'm always uh, using a light brown for painting tracks because I'm uh, going to attack the tracks with some pigment. So I hope it uh, will go well.
Yeah, so far the tracks. I've got a little uh, touch-up uh, to do on the road wheels. So I will doing that next. Now, as for the camouflage, um, this camouflage is going to be uh, slightly different as the Munition Sponsor. Uh, it's still going to be in a, a late war camouflage, so that means it uh, has a, an olive green and this is the wrong one. It's over here. And a medium brown camouflage. So I've got here a nice sheet with a painting scheme of uh, this uh, Carl Moser. Uh, it's really difficult, for it's a difficult camo machine, and I'm not going to mask it. it uh, most of the time I will do my uh, camouflage uh, free-handed, so this will not be an, any exception. So I will going to try a free-handed camouflage on this Carl Moser also. I did it uh, with uh, the Munition Sponsor. So I hope I will this will uh, work uh, also for this Carl. Now, um, I'm using an uh, ordinary model color. I do not have uh, any airbrush colors for the camouflage because I ran out of it. So I will just thin it with some airbrush uh, thinner and that works uh, better than uh, just uh, thin it with water.
Okay, now the camera is on. Um, I think I did a pretty good job on the camouflage uh, free-handed. So um, uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, the final stage for now is uh, putting some varnish on it. Uh, it's a satin varnish, also from Vallejo. So that's the final step that needs to be done. So let's do that. Well guys, uh, this is uh, the paintwork on the Karl Mosler, it's uh, finished now. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is uh, some washes, uh, pin washes. Uh, I want to give it uh, two, maybe three filters. Uh, detail painting is need to be done. The tracks are uh, going to be painted uh, by hand. Um, the decals needs to be added and a few more things uh, I believe and then uh, this uh, one is uh, finished so what I've done uh, is a freehand uh, camo job and I'm happy with, uh, with the results so I hope you're happy too so here's uh, a little uh, video uh, from it now <laughs> 